Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 118 of Let's FIFA 13 and this is the first out of three uploads today. We're finishing off the first season of Let's FIFA 13 and I got some really good gameplay in store for you guys. So look forward to all the three uploads. It is a little bit later but we'll get through it today. So uh, yeah, it took a bit, it took a while but we'll eventually find an opponent here into the quarterfinals uh, of the bronze uh, tournament. And I come up against a squad which is really not too bad. A full English side here, great chemistry. And and um, I thought it would be a tough game, but I actually created quite a few chances. First here with Canty, going past the defender, but it is saved by the keeper. And a few minutes later, we'll pass it around, we'll find McGlashan with an over-the-top ball and a nice finish from here, from him here to put it into the side net to make it a 1-0. And we continue on here, a first-time skill move to take out the keeper, but the angle is a little bit too narrow uh, for the uh, for Morrison to put it into the back of the net. So into the second half we go, it's Taylor on the ball, nice st stuff, stuff here to go past several defenders and go a bit back and forth and just as I'm about to take the shot he will tackle it away. Then the 71st minute it's a Benzia on the ball he makes his way into the box and he's taken down by a slight tackle and he will actually get his player sent off and giving me a great advantage and I will also convert the penalty to give me that two goal lead and after I had that one man advantage I started creating quite a few chances. We get a goal here nice work from Candy and in the end it's Taylor to head it in and then look at this stuff. Taylor nice work here Rainbow Flick we find a Benzio flicks it back over his head and he volleys that into the far corner what a goal there to make it 4-0 and that wins me the game I'm through to the semi-final but instead of that I'll go and play uh, the gold cup I will go with the the 4-3-2-1 gold side it's the second last game I'll play with them and then I'll build a, a quite interesting squad which you which you'll see in a few minutes but yeah into the final I come up against a very strong uh, Premier League side and uh, he gets the game started here with Nasri in the 12th minute to make it 1-0 and he will get another goal here my defender goes with this automatically slide tackle really annoyed me because I couldn't cover up the pass across goal. He had probably scored anyways but it just annoyed me a little bit but I will try and get it back here to wrap down the ball. Gets a shot in but it is saved by the keeper and we get another chance. Ben Arthur, some really nice skill moves here out on the wing, goes past the defender, makes his way into the box but the shot is once again saved. Not the best angle to shoot from but then eventually I will get through 45th minute. No skill moves just want to get it back in the game. Here with Sissogo 2-1 it is quite good to get that goal just before halftime and I'll continue into the second half here. Seven minutes in, nice work from Ben Arthur. Panis, the defender, goes past another one and that is 2-2. Two -two. We are all of a sudden back in the game and three minutes later it's a 3-2 lovely bicycle kick from a dead day and I get another chance here to wrap down the ball. Goes past the defender, he will cross it in, we find... Ben Arthur, but he will hit the bar. So the game ends up 3-2. to two. I win the cup, I get the coins, and uh, I can start over from the round of 16th, which will be the last game with the 4-3-2-1 side. And I come up against a full Brazilian side, which is quite a pacey. So uh, I expected a pretty tough game. As you can see, a 3 5 2 all the way is a strong formation. And uh, yeah, we go into the game, and I get it started here with Terrapt in the 30th minute. A few skill moves to go past the defenders here out on the wing. Cut in behind and cross it in. And look at this finish from Terrapt. A sideways volley to make it 1 0. Not bad. And 42nd minute, we get the game going here. Nice Adami to go past the defenders, make my way into the box with Asaidi, go past the keeper as well, and that is a 2-0, two quite nice goals, but he will get through in the start of the second half, he will cross it in, and head it in to make it a 2-1 to, to close in, but I will get another chance, he has to wrap on the ball, but it goes wide, and uh, I couldn't really get a goal, I, I tried, but uh, I failed a little bit, I get a nice chance here with a Ben Arthur, but an easy save for the keeper in the end, and one final chance with a Ben Arthur trying to make my way into the box, but once again denied by the keeper, so the game ends at 2-1, to one, and I'm through uh, to the quarter funds. but instead of playing that, I'll send all the players uh, to the trade pile, apart for a few players which I still want to, ha to have in the club, but yeah, keeping Ronaldinho there uh, and I will move him onto the striker position, because I'm building the ultimate skill squad now, we have Ibrahim as a center defensive mid. So yeah, I had a few players in the club already, but I had to buy some as well. We get the informal Lamella for the right mid. We get the, the new uh, Campagnaro. Not quite sure if that's the right way to pronounce it, but he, he's informed this week, so I probably overpaid a little bit because his price will go down until Wednesday. So yeah, probably making a loss on him, but I wanted to get him. And then we get Louis for the goal. So the squad is starting to shape up pretty nicely. We get a Neymar, of course. He, uh, the choice was between him and Ronaldo, and it was easier to get the chemistry 
straight out of the Neymar. And then we get a D Alessandro to link up. So yeah, this is the ultimate skill squad. It does not have any sort of defense prop. Well, it have a pretty fast uh, uh, backline center backs, but apart from that, <laughs> the center defensive mids are not really doing that much defensive work. So. I played a bit with it and I have to say it's amazing to play with, a lot of fun, but sometimes you can get hit on the counter very bad. But yeah, on goal we have Louis, we have uh, 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 we have the Saho and uh, Thiago Silva there to link up with Ibrahimovic on the center defensive mid. Now I won't be playing Ibrahimovic on the center defensive mid, I'll move him, uh, I'll swap Jaja so he plays the defensive mid and then I'll move Ibrahimovic up on the striker position. So basically it will be Jaja on the center defensive mid, Ronaldinho on center attacking mid and then Slatan on the top. Now the final centre back is Campagnaro, he got decent pace and in form and it looks pretty nice, links nicely up with Lamela there on the right mid, who does have the 5 star skill, so yeah, there's a lot of 5 star players in the squad, 7 total. And uh, yeah, Lamella there, 83 pace, a pretty solid player, and he, he's gone up quite a bit in price after he didn't get that upgrade, which I think most people thought he would. But yeah, center defensive mid is a D Alessandro, five star skills. He got a medium, medium work rate, so it's it's all round all right to have him on the center defensive mid. His his work rates are they they do the job. Left mid we do have a Neymar, very fast, five star skills and. The squad isn't actually that fast overall when you look at the players. It does have Wally Son, uh, Neymar, and uh, some quick center backs. But apart from that, the players aren't real that quick. But they're strong because Jaja here, he he's just huge, and he he does he does score some pretty good goals in, in the upcoming episodes. And then uh, moving on to the striker force, there we have Ronaldinho. As I said, we'll play the center attacking mid, and finally we do have Wally Son. And that will uh, pretty much be the end of the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will have another one up in a few a few hours maybe one maybe two so yeah thank you for watching and i will talk to you later